Tav Chof Aleph Amit Base, begin Chof Aleph Amit Aleph, three lines from the bottom of the two dots. Amrav Huna, Psil, Oisu Shmanam Shamro Chomein Madlikim Behem Shabbos, the wicks and the oil that we said that you can't use for Shabbos. It flickers, it doesn't draw the oil properly, it might go out. Ein Madlikim Behem Bechanaka. Similarly, you cannot use them for Chanaka, Bein Bechavos, Bein Bechol. Whether it's Shabbos or a weekday, you can't use it on Chanukah, whether it's Shabbos or a weekday. On my Rav my time, what's the reason? My time of the Rav, who knows? Kasava, Kavsa, Zakaklo. Because he holds that Kavsa, if the nair went out, if the fire went out, Zakaklo, you're obligated, you're obligated to relight it. Umutar lishtamish lo. And it's also mutter, you're permitted to use the light of the uh, nearest Hanukkah. So what does that mean? So therefore, on the weekday, since it's called Sezaka Claw, so therefore you should use, you're responsible to make sure that not only do you light the nair, but that it continues to be lit for the required time. So therefore, since you have that responsibility, you have to use at least lechadchila. You have to use the wicks and oil that will allow it to uh, light for that period of time without going out. And therefore, with the seals and shaman, which you can't use on Shabbos, we're concerned that it might go out. Therefore, since kafsa zakula, you're responsible to make sure that the flame burns for the requisite time. You should not use those seals and shaman. And on Shabbos. It's mutter, since he holds mutter l'shtamish lo'ayra, you are allowed to use the light of the Hanukkah lech. We're afraid, just like we are on the Shabbos lech, that we're afraid since you might come to read with the light, and you might come to be mata, you might come to tilt it, you might come to adjust it, and you'll be over on havar. So therefore it's also on Shabbos as well. Fractoises. Well, Kavsa Zakak law applies, applies not only to the Chol, it applies to Shabbos as well. Uh, just like you have to uh, make sure that the light is burning for the period of time for the shear during the week, you have to on Shabbos. And on Shabbos, if it goes out, you can't relight it. So certainly, you would have to use the proper psilos and shmonim for Shabbos. So it says in Hanami, that is true. However, since the way he says, the Memra, Rav Huna says, that bein b'chol, bein b'shavos, bein b'shavos, bein b'chol, it seems to be that there are two different reasons, that there's an additional reason for Shabbos. Because otherwise, he should just say an unequivocal statement that you have to use, it applies to Hanukkah as well. Since he differentiates bein b'shavos, bein b'chol, it's mashma that for Shabbos, there is an additional reason as well, which must mean that, it mean that he holds mutu l'shtamish lo'era, and we're afraid that shemayata on Shabbos. So that's what Rav Hunos, or Rav Chistam, I'm looking at Malchol, I'm a loy b'shavetz. He says, Madli can be him b'chol. On the weekday, you could use it, but not on Shabbos. Why is that? Because Sava Kavsa Ein Zokakl. Because he holds, not like Rav he holds Kavsa Ein Zokakl. Well, so you're not responsible to relight it. So therefore, as long as you lit the nearest, even if it goes out, we're not concerned. So therefore, on Chol, it's mutter. However, on Shabbos, it's also because he holds a mutter lishtamish loyera. You are allowed to use the light of the nearest Chanukah. And therefore, just like on Shabbos, we're afraid that he shema yate, he'll come to tilt it. Here also, we're afraid for the same thing. And therefore, it might be dimmed or go out. Therefore, we are uh, say it's also, and you cannot use it for Shabbos. Amrav Zera, Amrav Masna, Barmel Amrav Zera, Amrav Zera, Marav, Psilo Yisro Shmanim, Shamar Chomein Ligman B'Shabbos, Madlikit Ben B'Chanaka, Ben B'Chal Ben B'Shabbos. He says, no, just the opposite. The extreme of Ravuni. He says it's Mutter, Ben B'Chal Ben B'Shabbos. Amrav Yerom, my time of the Ra, what's the reason? Kasava, Kavsa, Ein Zokakul. He holds Ein Zokakul. If it goes out, you do not have to relight it. So therefore, we're not so concerned in the weekday if it goes out because he's not responsible for it. Well, also Lishtamish Loira. And on Shabbos, additionally, it's also Lishtamish Loira. You can't use the light of the Hanukkah candle. It has to be designated for Pursumi Nisa. You cannot use it for personal use, which would seem to 
negate the Prasumi Nisa, people look at it like it's just your personal use candle, not for the Nase to commemorate the Nase, so it's also the Shtamish Loira. And therefore, we're not concerned that Shemayata, because you can't use the light of the Neres Chanukah in any event. So therefore, it's Mutter uh, to use these Psyos of Shaman, and we're not concerned if the light flickers or if it goes up, he won't be Mata because he can't use the light of it anyway, he holds. <laughs> he did not accept it. They said this over, and they didn't accept it. He also, Rabbi Amru Rabban Kameda Abai, they said this member in the name uh, before Abai Mishmei the Rabbi Yechanan, but they said it in the name of Rabbi Yechanan and Rekibla. And then he accepted it. Then he accepted it as Allah. Omer, he said, he's a koi, gemir to the shmaitzami kor. He said, if I was Zoycha, I would have accepted this and been kabbal it earlier. Frankly, more of a hag, Omer, but he's accepting it now. Why? What's the difference? Saif kol Saif, he is accepting it now. It says, no, there is a difference. If he had learned it and accepted it earlier, he would have put it apart as his learning would have hazarded it and he would have been younger and remembered and retained it um, much longer and easier than learning something in his later years. Something that's learned in earlier years, Girsa the Yangsa, one retains it, remembers it more easily. You mean to tell me that by Neres Chanak is Kavsa if it goes out, the light goes out, you're not responsible, you don't have to relight it. I'll ask you a stir. The Mitzvah is that for the Neres, the Gemara's understanding it at this point to mean that it has to be burning from Shkia Sachama. There's Machlech, it's different. The uh, Rishonim argue what that means, Mishatish Kachama, is at the end of Shkia. Is at the beginning of Shkia, is at the end of the uh, the first Shkia, the beginning of the second Shkia. Akalpanim, it's from Shkia Sachama until people are no longer in the marketplace, where people don't come, it's dark, and people aren't in the marketplace. So, my love, the Kafsa Harmonic Law. Does it not mean that, what does it mean it's saying from this period, from Shkia to Acha Tichla Regal? Doesn't it mean that it has to be burning for that entire period of time? And if the flame goes out, if it's extinguished, you're responsible to relight it. So isn't that a kasha on the mandamar says kafsa ein zokoklo? Where it says loy. That's not what it means. It means the iloy adlek madlik. It means that if he has not lit the neiris before the beginning of the zman, any time within that zman, he still has to light the neiris. If he didn't light it, from it means that is a period of time where you can be mekayim the mitzvah. Within that period of time, if you didn't light it at the earliest part of time that's positive, you could still light it, you can still mimic it, as long as it's loitech la regimen Vinami lishiura, alternatively what it means is that the amount of oil that you have, it has to be enough that it can burn for that period of time. It has to have enough oil, it has to be able to burn for the period of time from Shkia until people are no longer in the marketplace. But it doesn't mean that you have to ensure, according to the Mandamar Kafsa in Zokkala, it does not mean that you have to ensure that it is burning for that period of time. And therefore, if it goes out, to relight it. No, it does not mean that. It means either for the Shear or means that you can be Mekayim, the Mitzvah, within that period of time. So it might you might infer that according to the tarots that you can be mekayim the mitzvah within that period of time, that after shetich la regel minashuk, you might infer and be medayik that you can no longer be mekayim the mitzvah. So Jesus addresses that, and he says that, uh, uh, however, according to the second tarots, that the tarots that is uh, for the shiur, then that is not true. It's, uh, we would not be able to make that diuk. Jesus says that in any event, nowadays, that we light inside, and that would not be the case, so that if he did not light within that period of time, you still would have to light after Tichlov Regal Menashuk. However, brought down the halacha, that you should be makbid, at least l'chadchila, to light within that time, in the earliest possible time, Shatishka Chama at Shatichlov Regal Menashuk. So the period is until people are no longer in the shuk. Which people? 
What does that mean? I'd come, how long is that? It means when the Tormudoi, when they already left the Shuk. Tormudoi were the people, the group of people that used to sell the wood, and they sold it in the marketplace. Now, they were the ones that stayed longer in the market. They stayed later because they sold the wood. People would buy the wood, and sometimes they would go home and they would see they don't have enough firewood and they go back to the market to buy some more. So they delayed, they stayed longer in the market, they tarried in the marketplace waiting for those who would come back, for those who see that they still need more firewood, they stayed a little longer. So they were the, the last ones to leave the marketplace. So it's Metishcha Achama until the last ones leave the marketplace. So the etza mitzvah, the basic mitzvah, is on a household. Ner ishu It's one ner for the entire household. Umahadrin ner Now the second level are those who are mahader. They are mahader the mitzvah. So Rashi says the mahader. Those are the ones that are mahader achra mitzvahs. They are diligent to go and try to perform the mitzvahs. Taisas under Hashem learns the lotion of Hidra, they beautify the mitzvahs. They say, Ner l'chol echad ve'echad, it's for each one. Machlik is Rishonim, how to learn, does that mean Ner l'chol echad ve'echad? Like the Rishonim and Rashi and other Rishonim and Bnei Ashkenaz, that it is one Ner for each member of the household. So each member of the household has his own Ner. Or the way the Rambam learns is that the Balabai is, he lights a nair for each member of his household. He's the one that lights it, but he adds one for each member of his household. What is the next level? The first day you light eight. The next day is seven, the next day is six. It goes down descending order. It's one and it goes in ascending order. You add on. So there's a machlag to reshine him what this means. Does this mean that mahadrin in mahadrin is that each one, or the balabayas, adds and it's now mahadrin, it's a hitter on top of the second hitter. The second hitter is it's a nair for each member of the household, or each member of the household lights his own nair. The second of mahadrin min mahadrin, each member of the household lights one for each additional day. It's either one, two, it will be a silo that it increases each day one, one more, or Beishamai that it goes down in, or first day is eight. But according to summary, Shaina means that Mahadrim and Mahadrim is a hitter on top of the second hitter. The second hitter is, is that it's in there for each member of the household. The Mahadrim and Mahadrim is, and each member of the household lights additional neris corresponding to the Yemeya Hanukkah. Tesis learns, no, it's not a hitter on top of a hitter. It's an alternative hitter. The second hitter is one nair for each member of the household. Mahadra Minna Mahadra says a better way to do it is not one nair for each member of the household, but the Balabai slides first day according to Basil one, second day two, second day three, because Taisa says if it's one on top of the other, it'll be just a confusion. You see all of these nairs, you don't know how many members of the household, you don't know how many days of the Hanukkah. So he learns is that Mahadram and Mahadran is an alternative heater. Of course we Paskin that Mahadram and Mahadran it's one heater on top of the next. Amra will apply by Trayam or Rabbi Marova to our Rabbi Nersol. They had a machlokes. Rabbi Yisib Rav and Rabbi Yisib Razi. The Chadam Mar time of the Beishamai. Why does Beishamai say you go eight? First day is eight. Second day is seven. Such I go down six. You go down in order. It's in descending order. It's connected Yom Milchnasim. He says it's corresponding to the Yom Milchnasim. The first day of Hanukkah. The first night of Hanukkah. So you have eight days of Hanukkah. So what's coming in? What's now before us are eight days of Hanukkah. So you light eight. The next day, what's before us is only seven days. You light seven. And the time of the Basil, can I get Yom and Yaitzim? And they say it's corresponding to the days that are, are Yaitzim, the days that have been completed. So the first day is the first night of Hanukkah. One night has now arrived, has come, and is going, is coming and going. So you have one. The second is. Well, one day of Hanukkah, the first day of Hanukkah has already passed, and now the second one is now, is now approaching, is leaving. So you light two. 
and you go on the third day, it's, you have three days of Hanukkah are now departing. And the other one says, the reason that Beishamai says you go in descending order is like we find on Sukkot, on the Poreya Chag, on the Korbonus that we were marked on Sukkot, it went down in order. It went 13, 12, 11. It went from a higher number and it went down. Similarly, in there's Hanukkah, we get a higher number and go down. The time of the base hill, the mountain behind you, my reading, because they say no that you always go you know, in ascending order in Bekaidish. So you go up, you don't go down. So the first night is one, then two, you add on to it. There were two Each one gave the reasoning. So he says that in Baishama and the reason he went like Baishama and he said the reason for Baishama is descending order like we find by the Korbanus of Sukkot. Is that nice and time with the Mal Mekhaidish Vein Marina? And he explained the reason of Bais Hill that Mal and Mekhaidish Vein may be. Tanabana Ne'er Chanukah Mitzvah Ne'echal Pesach Beis and Bibachot. The Mitzvah is to put it on the opening, the doorway of your house facing out. So the Machalik's Rashi and Tais is what that means. And Rashi says what it means is, is you put it on the entrance of your doorway facing the Chatzar. In those days, the way most of the houses were, where there were several diras, and then they had a courtyard, a common courtyard, that this complex, the houses opened up into a common courtyard. So Rashi says you put it on the entrance of your house facing the courtyard. So there's a presuming Nisa that other members of the Chatzar they can see your nares. Taisa says, no, if there is a chaser, then you have to put it on the entrance of the chaser facing the Rishus Rabin, facing the street. When we say it's a Pesach Beisa, it's where there's no chaser. But if there is a chaser, it should be placed on the entrance of the chaser facing the street. Im Hayadar Baaliyah, now if he lives on a second story, so he doesn't have a Pesach based on the ground level, Manech B'chawayin, as Mokhul Rishul Saram, he puts it on the window facing the street. O Bishas Zakona, at the time of Zakona, when they were Geyser, when the Nochem were Geyser, the Parsim, that they had their Chaga, and they were Geyser that no one else can light candles, the candles can only be lit, and theirs can only be lit in their base of Veda Zora. So it was a Sakana to light the Menich al Shulchan of Adai, he puts it inside so it cannot be seen by the Parsim, and he lights it inside and puts it on his table of Adaya, and that's sufficient. Since Neres Khan Prasumi Nisa, he has had a Shamas, he has had another Nair that he uses for his light, so it's clear that these Neres and Neres of Hanukkah is for the Prasumi Nisa. However, if he has a bonfire, so he doesn't need it because it's clear that he's, for his personal use, he's using the light of the bonfire. But the Adam Chashavu, if he's an Adam that normally doesn't use the light of a bonfire, it's not refined enough for him, he uses only Neros. Avagav Medura, even if he has a bonfire at Sorach, Nera Acheres, he needs Ashamas to show that the Nera is Hanukkah or Pisumin Yisa. My Hanukkah, so we're discussing now the Neros of Hanukkah. So, what was the side? The foundation of this establishment of Hanukkah. The Tanra Bonam Bechav Hebe Kislev on 25th day is the Yemen the Hanukkah Tamnina. There are eight days of Hanukkah. The Loyal Misperan, there were guys of Hamen that you cannot make a Mehasper on them. The Loyal Sanus Pam, they can't have a Tanus. Why is that? Shekesh and Nichna, so Yavanam Lehechal. When the Yavanam came to the Hechal, they made some Migdash, Timukolish Manam Shebehechal. They made all the oil tome, so it could not be used. When the Beis Chashmoy overpowered them, and they were victorious, the only Nair that they had that was Tohar, they had one Pach of Shemen that was sealed with the Chesem, the kind Gadol, and they knew that that was Tohar. But it only had enough oil for one night. So what was the problem? And they could not get oil that was torn to be used. It would take them eight days to find, to get alternate oil, to get some other oil. Why is that? So one shot is, is that because they had nothing in the vicinity of the Zora, of the base of Mikdash, they would have to travel uh, back and forth 
It will take them eight days to travel back and forth to get Shem, which was tore from the outskirts, from places far away from Yerushalayim, and bring it back. The Beis Yosef says is that they were all had a dinner to make mace, so all the oil that they touched, they could not be matire themselves. The Tommy mace needs seven days of tara, so they cannot uh, process other oil betara because they're all Tommy. So they saw one that had one Pach Shemin that had the seal of the Kohen Gadol that shows it was not tampered with. The problem is, is that, however, even though it might not have been opened and touched, but the Chachamim were going there to Maziva on Anachim. And so therefore, if the Yavonim were in the Heichal, even if they didn't break open the seal and touch the oil, but if they had moved it, if they had carried it, if they had moved it, it would be Tommy anyway, because the Chacham or Geyser and Nachum, that they have Tumaziva and the Metam of Tesis learns is that it was a seal that was attached to the ground. So it was not moved. It was Mechubar Lekarka. There was no Hesed. It would only be by touching. And it was sealed. It wasn't touched. Others learn that if they had found it, they would have broken open the seal. This was a hush of a seal, the kind Godel, and, and they won him and they were destructive. They would have broken. The fact that it wasn't broken shows you that they didn't even find it. It was hidden away. It was hidden and they didn't find it. Because if they had found it, it wouldn't have been there with the seal intact. This oil that Meder Chateva would only last for one night, lasted for eight. The following year, they establish it as Yom Toyme with Halal and Haida, giving praise to the Rebbeinu Shalom on the great Nez. Tanan also we learned about the Kama Gets a Yetzmitach Zapatish. If you have a blacksmith, he's banging, and a spark comes from the anvil where he's banging, and the spark went flying, and it caused a fire and a damage. So he's considered negligent. And he has to pay for the damage that he caused from the spark. Gomal Shaton Pishn, if you have a camel that is loaded up with flax. And it's walking through Shusarabim, then Niftas Pishtan will say Chachanus. And because the load was so great, the load stuck in, it went into the store. Vidalka Benir Shal Khanvani. Now the Khanvani, the storekeeper, had a candle burning, and now the flax got ignited with this candle. The camel was loaded up to such an extent it was overflowing and, and it's and it stuck into the store and it got ignited with the Khanvani's candle, the Hitler gets a beer and it burned down the building. Balagam al Khaiv, the Balagam was negligent because he should not have overloaded his camel. But he near Khanvani is near Bibachut, Khanvani Khaiv. But if the Khanvani put his candle outside the store, then the storekeeper is negligent. He shouldn't have put his candle there. And therefore, he's negligent, and he'd be high for damages. Rabbi Yudhoi Mer, however, ben Ner Hanukkah Potter, if the Chanvani put his Ner Hanukkah outside and it caused the fire, he's Potter because he has permission, the mitzvahs, to put the Ner Hanami Bechot. Omar Ravina, Zaisa Meris Ner Hanukkah, Mitzvah, Hanicha, Besei Chasar. This shows you, this shows you that the mitzvah of Ner Hanukkah, the mitzvah is to put it within 10 Tvachim of the ground. Why do we see that? Because these al Khamalamasar, because if you would say that the mitzvah is higher than ten tvachim, then why do we say by Nir Khanaka's potter? Why doesn't there a taina that yes, you have a mitzvah to put it outside, you're entitled to put it outside. But you should have put it in a higher level, you should have been placing it higher than the ga- the gamal, the camel and the load. Yes, you have a right to put it outside, but you know that there are passerbys. The person has a right to travel on the street with his gomo and riding on it. You should have put it outside higher than the camel, so there shouldn't have caused the damage. Now, from the fact that we say that by Ner Hanukkah he is potter, even though he put it low down, doesn't that show you that the miss of Ner Hanukkah is to put it within, within ten tefachim of the ground? There's a greater presuming nisa if a person puts the Ner lower to the ground. 
Normally, he would put it in a, a height where it would be eyesight, a higher level. The fact that he's putting it lower to the ground, that shows you that it's specifically for the mitzvah of Hanukkah. There's a great presuming nisa, it's dafka for the mitzvah of Hanukkah. So doesn't this show you that that, in fact, is the case, that the mitzvah is to put it within ten tefachim of the ground, therefore he has the right to put it outside, he has the right, and the mitzvah is to put it low to the ground, therefore he's potter, because if, he could put the Ner Hanukkah, the Mitzvah would be even higher than 10. Why doesn't the Nizek, the damaged party, have a right to tell him, yes, you have a Mitzvah to put it outside, yes, you have a right to put it outside, but you're still considered negligent because you should put it higher. So it should be higher. From the fact that we say by Ner Hanukkah is potter, doesn't that show you that the Mitzvah is to put it low to the ground? Mar says, no. Vidilma aslam numim Mitzvah. Maybe I'll tell you, really, there's no Mitzvah to put it low to the ground. And really, strictly speaking, he should have put it outside higher than the ten. Really, strictly speaking, we would have a Taina to him. Yes, you have a Mitzvah to put it outside, but you should be matriach yourself and place it higher. However, Maybe the pshat is that really, as far as Ner Hanukkah, really, you don't have to put it low to the ground. However, the Chama were concerned if we are matriach, a person, that he has to put it outside and he has to dafka, elevate it and put it up high, that it'll be a big tircha, it'll be a big bother, and a person might not come to do it. So perhaps they said that since the myth is to put it outside, that we're not matriach you to dafka and place it higher, you can even put it lower. And therefore, the Chum allowed him that, that dispensation, that kula. So therefore, the, anyone passing by has to know and be aware, and it's his responsibility to be aware that Chaneris Hanukkah are placed outside, and they may be placed lower to the ground. You have to be extra careful. But you cannot prove from here and make a diuk that the mitzvah of Ner Hanukkah is davka to put it within ten tvachim of the ground.